In this video, we're going to take a look at margins in Word 2016. And uh, these are going to be on the Layout tab. So let's go to our Layout tab here. I'm still using the Alice in Wonderland document. Click on Layout. And uh, margins is the very first button over here on the left side, the Layout ribbon. So let's click on the down arrow. And we have about half a dozen presets here and uh, you can do custom settings and it'll give you whatever your last custom setting was in case that's something that you use a lot. Uh, the default here is one inch on all four sides and if you take a look at uh, my ruler here there's an inch on this side, there's an inch on this side, that's the gray part of the ruler. And if you look at the vertical ruler there's one inch on the top over here and if I scroll down to the bottom of the page here uh, there's another inch of gray down here at the bottom. So I've got one inch margins all the way around. Okay, And let's just try a a preset here. Uh, first of all, let's look. I'm on page two. There are 57 pages in the document and I have one inch margins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to narrow, which is half an inch all the way around, and that should reduce the number of pages by, you know, at least a few pages, I think. So let's choose narrow. And uh, I went from 57 pages down to 48 pages. So uh, making those margins narrow saved me nine pages in my printout although I think this is a little bit too narrow. Okay, let's go back here to margins, but it applies to the whole document. And um, here's an old default. At one time the default was to have one and a quarter inch margins on each side. Now it is uh, one inch margins on each side. Um, if you don't like any of the presets here, you can go in and you can customize as much as you want. Uh, we've got an option here for the top and the left and the bottom and the right. And we've also got an option here for uh, a gutter which is a little space in between here that's allowed for binding a document. So if you were going to be uh, binding a document, that would be one uh, thing you'd want to take a look at. If you're just doing one side of a page, you know, then you'll want the gutter on the left. If you're doing both sides of the pages, then you want to uh, put it on both sides. And you've got an option up here for applying it to the whole document or from this point forward. Uh, most of the time you can apply it to the whole document, I think. So let's go ahead and we will just click, we'll cancel out of here. And I'm going to go back to margins here and I'm going to go back to normal, which is where I think you're probably going to watch your documents most of the time anyway. Um, there are some options here. Let's go to uh, this first paragraph here. And you'll notice up here there are some markers on the ruler. By the way, if you don't see the ruler, go to your view tab and there's a checkbox there for the ruler and you can turn it on. Okay, so now let's go back to our layout tab. And in the paragraph group here under the layout tab, we've got some options for the left and the right margins. Okay, and if I increase the margin on the left, it goes in one tenth inch increments. Okay, now I've got a two inch margin on the left and if I want one on the right, just bounce on the up arrow and now I've got a margin, two inch margin on the right. Now the margins for the document are marked by the gray. So I've still got one inch margins on my document but I have temporarily changed the margins on this paragraph. Um, if you go in here and apply these commands, these commands apply to uh, paragraphs. So if, if you just have, if you just in one paragraph, you only have one paragraph selected, that's the only one that will be affected. If you want to do multiple paragraphs, you can drag the mouse through multiple paragraphs. Okay. Now notice that these markers get pulled in as we change the margins. These are ways to change the margins for just part of your document. You select what you want to change, you drag these in or out, and uh, update the document, the margins accordingly. Now. I'm going to go back to zero here on the left, and I'm going to go back to zero here on the right, so everything is the same. Now I'm going to show you another way to do this, which I actually think is probably a little bit easier. Uh, these are paragraph commands, so they apply to whatever paragraphs you have selected. Now I've got parts of three paragraphs selected here. I don't have to select the entire first paragraph or the entire last paragraph. As long as I have part of it selected, since it's a paragraph formatting command, it will apply to the entire paragraph. And instead of going up here now, I'm going to make some changes with these little margin markers up here. This little house shaped marker here on the ruler marks the right margin. And if I want to increase that by half an inch, which will decrease the size of the text, the size of the line, 
then I just drag that and pull it in. So that's pretty easy to do. That's pretty straightforward. But here I've got a couple. I've got actually three markers. I've got this upside down house on the top, and on the bottom I've got a right side up house, and then it looks like I've got a little basement underneath that right side up house. So I've got three little icons here, three little uh, symbols that I can manipulate. And the top symbol, um, if I pause the mouse over, it'll tell me if that's the first line indent. So I'll click that and drag it in, let's say half an inch, and check it out. Uh, everything gets moved in uh, on the first line by half an inch. This marker down here is the left indent marker, and that's for all the lines except the first line, so none of this stuff moved. It's still over here on underneath at the one inch mark. Um, now, if I want to move these in as well, then I grab this little house down here, and I drag that in, and now since I've dragged in the same amount, uh, they are both the first line and subsequent lines are all indented by half an inch. And then I've got this little basement down here. Let me take this uh, first line indent marker and drag it over another half inch here. And then I've got the little basement down here. What the little basement does is if you click on that and drag, it moves not only the left margin for all the lines except the first, but it also moves the first. So you see it's no matter where I move it, it's preserving this one half inch difference between uh, the first line indent and all of the subsequent lines. Okay, so uh, this will move the right margin, this will move the first line indent, this will move the other lines, and this will move uh, both of these at the same time. So I'm going to move them all the way back over to the left here, and I'm going to take this one and move it all the way back over to the left as well. Now we've also got some keyboard shortcuts for dealing with margins, and again, let's do several paragraphs here so we can see that it's a paragraph command. And my first one here is Control M. M stands for margin. At least I think that's what it does. And you see it indents it by half an inch. If I do Control M again, uh, it does another half inch and again and again and again. And so if you want to quickly indent your entire paragraph on the left side by half an inch, Control M is the way to do it. If you want to go back the other way, it's Control Shift. So hold the Control key and the Shift key down and press M. And each time you do, I uh, hit the wrong key there. So let's do Control Shift M. And as this moves back, you see that the markers up here move back as well. There's another keyboard shortcut. And rather than telling you what it does, first I'll just do it. Hold the Control key down and press the letter T. And what that does is it moves in this um, left indent line here and it gives you uh, what's called a hanging indent, basically a reverse indent. So instead of indenting the first line to the right, it indents the first line back out to the left and everything else um, is indented. So if you want to get a hanging indent, uh, control T and then control T again and again and again and again and it leaves this thing where it is, this little uh, first line indent marker. Uh, but it takes this uh, marker and it moves it in. And you go back the other way here the same way that you did with the control M. It's a control shift T and every time I do it it goes back in the other direction. And I'm going to do control T one more time. And the way I remember this is um, you know the edge of this kind of looks like um, two-thirds of the letter T. We've got a line sticking out and then vertical and if we had another one going over here you know kind of like this and then a line down here which I can't really select uh, I don't think I can select that. Can I do that? No, I can't. Um, but it kind of looks like the letter T. So um, those are some keyboard shortcuts and that's how you indent uh, paragraphs and your entire document in Word 2016.